Okay, thank, thank, thank you so much. I mean, for me, a couple of takeaways, apart from this tropical environment in which we, we are getting. I, I, I think what has become very clear during the session is that a social model is a homegrown model. Somebody said it's, it's, it's bottom-up, we build it up bottom, in a bottom-up way. I think secondly, what the Commissioner Tayson said, there's no contradiction between the social and the economic, and this is also what you stressed, uh, co Commissioner, it can be a profitable model. Um, but as you said, we need convergence here in, 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 in Europe. And I think very importantly, the, our Nobel Prize winner, he insisted on the fact that um, it's not all about the economy, it's also about social rights. Um, this is also what you said, uh, Lawrence, it's, it's about social rights of people. Um, and then if you go for social protection systems, it's about universality, it's about reciprocity, it's about solidarity. Um, and But unfortunately, in many places, we are losing momentum in terms of developing social protection systems. Uh, this is the case in certain European countries, but also in, in many developing, developing nations. And this is why I would like to congratulate and thank the two Directorate Generals who organized this session, being DG Employment and DG DEFCO. Thank you so much. And I would like to ask for a warm round of applause for our panelists. Thank you so much. <laughs>